What's up, everybody? Now I'm going to show you how to make a few icons for your iPhone, iPod Touch, uh, using nothing but an online application called PhotoFlexer. Now you can use GIMP or Photoshop or whatever you have, but if you don't, there's an easy way to make a few icons, uh, cheap and easy and fast. Um, first thing I'm going to do is let me show you what I'm going to make here. Turn on my iPhone. As you can see here, here's the IO against type icons. Uh, a few of them can change. I mean, the compass, the mail, and a few other ones. Just real fast. Let me go ahead and uh, switch it over. You can see, I changed the city to that IC. So, I'm going to make one of these for <coughs> our iPod. So, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go to PhotoFlexer. That's right here. And type in this, photoflexer.com, and you'll get this page, and I'm going to edit from my computer. So, the first ones I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a few icons from themes I've already made. Alright, so this is where I'm going to start. And I am going to make this our iTunes icon. So after doing that, if you know how to SSH, um, I'm going to add an I elegance icon to it. <clears throat> and you can search by these by what they look like. I'm just going to go for it. So, here it is right here. Now, let's say this thing was, you know, something you downloaded off Google Images or something that was that big compared to fitting into this icon. No big deal. First thing I usually do is put it behind the IG Elegance icon. And basically all I'm going to do is just shrink it down. You have all these tabs that do different things. Um, just to do this, I'm going to do it, and I'll go back through and show you what I did. I'm going to pull it forward. And just in the large, if you get it center. Basically, I'm just trying to get it centered in the middle there. This photo is really cool. Pretty much, you can make a complete theme just using this. After that, like I said, you have different effects. You can invert it. Um, like that. You can just do different things that you'd like to do. Um, basically, just going through and messing with it. It's a free, pretty easy, and it's the easiest way, the cheapest way, basically, to make icons. So pretty cool. Um, show you it does work. Here's the icon I just made. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to hit and save. You always want to save any theme you make as a PNG. And my folder for this is on my desktop. And we're going to place this in our icons. So, I'm going to save it in there. <coughs> and it has the theme I'm using. And it's right there. So, the next thing I'm going to do is scroll down until I get to my iPod, which is right here. I'm going to take that. 
copy the name. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So there you go. And as you can see, these are all the icon icons I have changed. I made my own voice memo. Again, City, uh, Facebook, Calendar, System. Um, so you can go through and make your own icons for pretty much any theme you'd like. Um, this is just a easy one I've done. Um, they all work pretty much the same. Sorry about that. So back to PhotoFlexer. Let's say you wanted to rotate the middle of it, um, to bronze it, pretty much anything. So this is just showing you easy ways how to use an online application to make an iPhone theme. If you want me to go into further detail on how to set up a theme and the way it needs to be done, I'd totally do that as well. Um, so this is it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment and subscribe. And, uh, I'll make some more and show you a little more about PhotoFlexer and how easy and simple it is to use. Alrighty, later.